Hey guys, I'm Luke from TBD CNC, and today I'm going to show you how to install our adapter kit that allows you to use your Inventables dust shoe with your TBD CNC Super Grade Z axis. So here's a look at what's included in the kit. We've got our two fixture handles, two T nuts, two M5 flathead screws, and the actual adapters. And on these, you've got a left and a right. So if you look, you can see there's an L on top indicating this is the left. And this one's the right. All right, so we're gonna start with the left side. We're gonna take our adapter that has the L on top. We're gonna take an adjustable fixture handle and slide it in through there. And then we're gonna put a T-nut on the end. We're gonna start threading it. And then the left side's easy because you can just drop it straight down in the top, tighten it up the rest of the way. And then you're gonna take, pull the handle out and spin it around to where it's pointing around down. And that's gonna allow you to, in the up position, you'll be able to slide it. But then when you turn it to the down position, it's gonna be locked in place. So then we're gonna take our left-handed uh, dust shoe bracket and one of the flathead screws from the kit. We're gonna insert the screw from the back. We're gonna put the bracket in place. I have to lower this a little bit. And then you can come in with your, your Allen wrench. It's a three millimeter. And tighten it up the rest of the way. There's no need to over tighten it, just get it nice and snug. And now you've got the left side bracket installed. I'll go ahead and put it about there. Okay, now we're gonna do the right side. It's a little bit more tricky. I'm gonna use my uh, Allen tool, three millimeter again, although it doesn't really matter for this step. I'm gonna drop the T-nut in from the top and I'm gonna use the Allen wrench to hold it in place. Get it down there below that. Then I'm going to take the right side bracket and the, the, the last fixture handle, install that, and then grab the T-nut and thread it on. Same thing here, you're going to get it tight. And then on the right side, you need it to face up when it's tight. So we're going to, again, pull out and rotate that to the up position. Now when we have it down, this will slide. When you have it up, it won't. Now I'm gonna lower this, see if I can snake around the router cable here. Again, you're gonna take your M5 screw from the kit. I'll put that in through the back. And you'll take the right side bracket Screw it again. Again, you don't need to, to get it super tight, just snug it up. And now we can lower this down to about the same height as the other one. And once you have the arms installed, all you have to do is slide the, the dust boot in like normal, and then you can adjust it as necessary. So you can lower it down to your work height, tighten your fixture knobs, and you're ready to go. Thanks.